probably not getting that. Oh, it oh. looks like we're oh, going to get uh, Mr. E against Mr. Mojo Rasek. Ooh, so this will be interesting. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Both of them being named Mr. They so are Mr. Both e, a Mr. We all know him. One of the strongest Lucina players in the world, and I would definitely say the strongest in the Western world. Yes, definitely. The only one that and really compares to him. Mr. Mojo Batman. Rising is a bit of a hidden box here. Uh, he plays several characters, the most prominent of which are Donkey Kong and actually Lucina, too. Yeah. Um, we might also see um, other characters such as Palutena, uh, Cloud, maybe even like Inklinger and Incineroar. But I think that Donkey Kong and Lucina are pretty safe. I think that's probably what he's going to stick to. It's a question of whether or not he wants to play the Ditto, I feel like. Yeah. Um, if he doesn't, we'll probably see Donkey Kong. Or From my experience, I think Mojo usually goes Donkey Kong in the Smash Up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, uh, that he would probably go DK. And while Mystery is definitely a world-class player, like I said before, Mojo is a major hidden boss here and not someone you ever want to sleep on. Yeah. So this might be a lot closer than we think. Um, another thing that I know about Mojo is that his punish game is very, very strong. I think Mr. E just found out about what our starters are. <laughs> oh. Because he looked confused and called for a TO. Like, um, on the stage selection. I remember at the meta, there was a point um, in Winner's Finals where Mojo took two of Zekai's stocks in less than 20 seconds. That's OD. That's the kind of punish game I'm talking about, people. So you can expect to see some explosive gameplay here. All right, so we are going to see the Donkey Kong. We extend tried and true to Lucina. You know, I just noticed. I think that uh, Mr. E and Mojo use the same Lucina skin. I think Mojo uses the Tiki one. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know why I, why I thought that. So anyway, looks like we're starting game one with a pretty patient neutral. But Mr. E is going to start off, He's just get a swinging. bit of damage, and immediately put Mojo on the ledge. So Donkey Kong is a bit of a glass cannon character. While he isn't going to be um, losing stocks early, Ooh! Um, it, he's capable of dealing damage fast and taking stocks fast. But when he's in disadvantage, you'll see stuff like that happen. This is a big boy, and Mystery likes the swing. There's a lot to hit there. All right, but it looks like Mojo's going to swing back. <laughs> Grabs and tries to get the fair. Doesn't get it. Using Shield Breaker there to pressure but the But gets the parry, and is that going to be a platform DKO? Just barely Not doesn't yet. take it. Ooh, but that Red floor smash dodge. will. A good read by Mr. Mojo there. All right, puts him off stage. The counter. I that like counter it. seems really annoying to deal with um, with DK's recovery. Yeah, most characters that have a hitbox during the recovery do not do well against Mr. Martino E is just going to repeatedly counter Mojo's up B, and there wasn't really much he could do after he lost his jump. No, unfortunately not. That's, that's what Marcina can do very well against <laughs> characters like Donkey Kong, other characters that have hitboxes. A lot of characters with linear recoveries can really struggle with that. Yeah. Um, for example, Ness can struggle with it quite a bit. Yeah, Ness gets obliterated by Marcina one trying to recover low. Uh, Fox and Falco, Wolf to a lesser extent because Wolf usually tries to go more. Vertical. So it looks like Mojo's trying to recover a little bit. And the down air. Just when I said it, he recovered low, and he ended up losing the game. On the screen, just I was gonna say there. he mixed up his recovery and went really high there, and I thought he was trying to do that to avoid um, mystery running off the stage and countering, and it seemed to work there. But he went low that time, and he just got down there. No, yeah. Uh, Definitely trying to go like, all right, I'm not going to counter again, again, again. So, as expected, that's a very strong game one for Mr. A. But yeah. let's see if Mojo can um, bring this back. He's definitely, definitely a player who can make upsets. This is true. I would not count him out yet. We're going to go to Yoshi's story here. All right. Immediately starts I off with the I think that Mojo went here because he wants to use um, the platforms and uh, not super high ceiling to his advantage so that he can get um, very early platform DKS. Because no, he yeah. really loves getting those. And they're going to be like an X factor in this matchup. Yeah, he had the one set up before. Oh, a platform DKO might end up KOing right now, actually. So you're just trying to stay out oh. of the Oh, carrying an air. Very smart. All right. Fair. F Ooh. smash. That's going to I think Mojo was trying option. to come down with a fair on top of Mystery. Mystery said, none of that. Oh. Mystery is playing very, very patiently right now because he knows that any one mistake could lead into a stock at this percent range. Yeah. 
And even if he doesn't take the stock, he's going to get a lot of damage on top of him, and that just makes it a whole lot more easier for Donkey Kong to just, just This get patient play might be um, what lets him win the set against Mojo, because Mojo's very good at blowing up impatient play, too. Yeah. I guess the up tilt. If Mojo comes down with the Nair, able to get that pressure off. Oh. Dash attack and the Nair, that's going to take it there. There wasn't much that Mr. E could have done to avoid that either. Um, no. That dash attack actually caught a second jump. Yeah. Alright. Sits in shield, Mr. E just grabs him. Back here, puts him off stage. Alright, Mr. E comes Goes up, high, knowing that Mr. E here. wants to counter. Ooh. He goes for the counter there, but just. I'm he not sure he was trying to run off stage. or expecting Mojo to go high. I think he was trying to run off and he messed up. But with Max Rage, this might... Oh. Try to get the up tilt back here. Puts like, him off stage. Not a good oh. place. Ooh. He waits out the counter but still gets hit. But he's able to tech. Goes for the tech wall jump and is able to make it back. Yeah. Luckily, he managed to oh. switch sides there in the, in the amount of time he had. The back air. Ooh, gets the tech again. And... Mojo's gonna, Mojo's gonna be up a stock. But he's not at a nowhere near a healthy percent right now. We've seen a sneezes on that, yep, but like that, <laughs> like that <laughs> sneeze. Because he was just like, achoo! <laughs> you get hit with the sword that's made out of a dragon tooth, like you just fly. And now Mystery has got Mojo in disadvantage, which is very bad for Donkey Kong right now. Does he not right have there. his jump? His right. defensive options are very limited. Back off stage. It's not the place you want to be right now. All right, manages to get oh. back on the ground, but Mr. E just grabs Mr. E's him. Mr. E's going off stage. Back. Mojo doesn't have a jump. He's able to stuff out any attempt of an edge guard from Mr. E. He's able to reverse the situation. I like the counter there, just saying, like, don't try to run off and do anything right now. Okay. You saw there that Mojo was uh, platform camping because he wanted to see if he could get the platform DKO. Ooh. Tries to go for it there, but barely misses the up air follow-up. And the back air, not nope. enough to do it. I'm Donkey Kong's a heavy boy. That is a big boy. The Nair doesn't get the second oh. hit. Barely makes it back on Ooh. stage. Get up attack, gets on. Ooh, Mystery just Falls out of the Nair. And the up air, and that's But Mystery's able to cover it. That's going to be a 2-0 win for Mystery. Mojo really had him on the ropes, though. Oh, yeah, that...